heard repeatedly from scientists and at many previous meetings the increasing threats that prevail on ocean areas beyond national jurisdiction, including climate change, ocean acidification, chemical noise and plastic pollution, overfishing and destructive fishing practices, and new and emerging uses. As the summary of the first global integrated marine assessment noted, the greatest threat to the ocean comes from a failure to deal quickly with these manifold problems. So after 14 years of scoping and meeting and discussing, and as noted by the European Union, the time has come to go beyond the PREPCOM conceptual explorations and move towards text-based negotiations. We therefore strongly support the recommendation made by many here yesterday and today, including the African Group, Bangladesh on behalf of the LDCs, Togo, Morocco, Costa Rica, Mexico, Tanzania, Nigeria, Eritrea, that a draft text is developed as soon as possible and before the next session of the IGC. We are grateful for the work of the President providing the aid to discussion questions, which will help focus the discussions toward that end, and are eager to assist you and all states in the weeks and years to come. And we truly appreciate the opportunity to participate in this historic process. Madam President, we are confident that under your guidance and with the constructive attitude of all delegations, this first session of the IGC will be a success because we simply cannot fail. You have in your hands the future of the high seas, half of our beautiful blue planet, one ocean, one planet, one treaty. Thank you very much.